Hi, I'm Pastor Steve, and I'd like to talk to you for just a minute about consciousness and toxicity. Two topics that, that we kind of toss back and forth in the course of living our lives. Consciousness being also known as mindfulness. Awareness, deep awareness of what's going on around us and who and what we are and where we are headed. Consciousness and toxicity. I believe personally that we live in a world that is kind of overrun with a large variety of forms of toxicity. And intoxicants, notice the root toxic in intoxicated, uh, to toxins present us with a very peculiar kind of a lie because the toxins make us think and make us feel as though we were rising in consciousness and rising in conscious awareness to the universe, to God, to each other, that the, the intoxication fills the intoxicated person with a very deep sense of belonging to the universe and connection with all that is around us. And that is a lie because what the toxins do is they actually separate us from ourselves, from each other, and from this connection to the universe around us. Now, because I hold that belief does not mean you need to hold that belief. This I'm just sharing with you some of my own experiences and my own deep beliefs because I have chosen to separate myself from a variety of toxins that I perceive in the world around us. I have chosen to limit, to, to, to stay away from those toxins. And in my personal experience, my decision to do that has helped me tremendously in finding this thing called consciousness or connection. Now, in the Old Testament, there are a couple of scriptures that I find very helpful here. One of them is in uh, the book of Numbers, chapter 6, where we find the, the, the idea of a Nazarite vow. Nazarite or, and Nazorian are two words that I use interchangeably. It comes from, the word comes from a Hebrew root that is to separate. The Nazarite separates himself or herself from the perceived toxin that uh, is, for whatever reason, problematic. Now, um, in the, my symbol of my vow of separation is the verse uh, in Numbers uh, um, chapter 5, just a simple phrase that says, No razor shall come upon his head. Same verse is also in the book of Judges chapter 13, verse 5. And uh, we, we will, in a separate place, go into these scriptures. But I would just, add, you know, if you want to look at these scriptures, they can be very helpful for understanding this concept of separation. I made the decision to stop cutting my hair. And I did it as a Nazarite vow unto the Lord to say that this hair is a symbol for me of my decision to separate myself from the toxins and toxicities. Now, in my case, 
the toxins and toxicities that I abstain from. A Nazarite in, in the Hebrew language would be an abstainer or a, a one who separates. And I am abstaining from the from alcohol in all of its forms, from cannabis in all of its forms, as cannabis, cannabis especially becoming more and more and more prominent in use all around everywhere. Uh, I abstain from television, which is really, really weird, I admit it, but I find that the rapid movement of images and the blither, 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 blither that we get from television just distracts me terribly from focusing on whatever I'm focusing on. When I'm in a room and a TV is on, I just, whoop, my attention is right there. I have suffered from this tremendously since a lot of mini marts have gas pumps with TV screens on them so that you will watch the little TV while you pump gas. And for me, it's really, really hard to use one of those because I'm just watching. I just oh, stuck to that 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 video advertisement for potato chips uh, while I'm supposed to be putting gas in the car. <laughs> that that's a uniquely personal um, issue. Now, the the main point I want to make about being a Nazarite. It's just a matter of deciding personally to separate oneself from whatever the toxins are that might be clouding up our lives, that might be causing us to not be able to be mindful of the needs of our neighbors, of the needs of our loved ones, of the situations that we need to face in our lives. And I believe that taking charge of one's own life and owning the fact that we live in a tremendously toxic world. We have toxins of anger and toxins of upset, toxins of conflict, cultural conflict all around us. And we will do better if we insulate ourselves a little bit from that world of toxicity. And so uh, that's what I wanted to share with you. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.